Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Today I will explain, I will talk uh, about jaundice. Jaundice. Jaundice is the uh, yellow discoloration, yellow discoloration uh, of the skin, sclera. And is a mucous membrane. Okay, the patients usually uh, appear in yellow, with a yellow skin, with a yellow sclera. Okay, and jaundice is mainly caused by by increase the level of the bile pigment bilirubin increased level of bilirubin usually due to many causes increased level of bilirubin is called hyper bilirubinemia bilirubinemia okay it is actually caused by three main causes so John this let me write here John this John this three main causes as I told you before Let me write it down. It can cause by prehepatic or hepatic or post hepatic. And the prehepatic is also called hemolytic jaundice hepatic also called hepatocellular jaundice post post hepatic um, mainly caused by obstruction but it, it no, doesn't have uh, main name obstructive jaundice maybe anyway if I want to summarize the normal physiological pathway of bilirubin RBCs uh, aged RBCs will lysis into hemoglobin and they will give us bilirubin or the unconjugated conjugated bilirubin this bilirubin will enter into the liver this is our dear lovely liver inside the liver it will be it will be converted to conjugated form conjugated bilirubin Mainly, it will be conjugated with glucuronic acid. Then, it will be secreted through the bile, through the gallbladder, into the small intestine, into the gut. And it will be converted into urobilinogen. A small amount of the urobilinogen will escape into the general circulation into the blood and as you know urobilinogen is a, is a form of conjugated bilirubin and it is water soluble and it can be filtered through the kidney so it will appear in, in the urine it will be filtered through the kidney this is our lovely dear kidney and it will 
appear in the urine. So normally we will have urobilinogen. Urobilinogen in the urine. urine. This is a normal state. And some or most of the urobilinogen in the in the small intestine in the gut will be converted finally into sterico bilin which will be executed into the feces and it will give the feces its color dark brown color normal dark brown color feces or stool Okay, so the main path, the main uh, pathway of the the main excretory route of the uh, of the uh, of the bilinogen is the feces. It's through the stool. Okay, hopefully this is, uh, diagram is simply and clear for all of you, because our lecture to our topic today is mainly depend on this. On this process okay so in the next step I'm gonna talk about the prehepatic okay let's let's go up 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 okay here now I will talk about the prehepatic hemolytic also called hemolytic Jaundice. Jaundice. The main problem, as you can guess from the name, it is here. Let me go to the last diagram. Sorry for that, guys. This is here. Before the liver, because it is a prehepatic. So it, the problem is here in this stage. Okay, well in the hepatic phase, we, the problem is here in the hepatic in the liver. Okay, sorry, not including the gallbladder. The problem mainly here in the post-hepatic, including the gallbladder system and the bile canal oculate system mainly. So. Now, the prehepatic homolytic jaundice in prehepatic, oh, sorry for that, guys. Uh, in prehepatic homolytic jaundice, we have excess destruction of RBCs, <coughs> abnormal destruction of red blood cell. So, we will end up with. A high level of unconjugated bilirubin. This higher level will enter the liver and it will be conjugated, conjugated in the liver. Then it's secreted through the gallbladder system into the gut with a high amount, with a high level of urobilinogen. A small portion, as normal, as in normal situation, a small portion will escape into the general circulation and then will go to the kidney. And from the kidney, a small portion of urobilinogen appear in the urine. But as I told you, the main pathway is here. The main excretory pathway is here. So, the, the high level of urobilinogen 
with the large amount of urobilinogen will convert it into circobilin. Circobilin, circobilin. Finally, as a final step, it will pass through many, many steps, as I told you before. Then finally, it will be excreted into the stool, and that will cause very very dark stool color dark stool color so we will have very dark stool color with a normal with a normal urine color with a high level of unconjugated sorry for that with a high level of unconjugated bilirubin in the plasma in the blood so this is normal this is abnormal and this is abnormal in this case we don't have uh, we don't have any increase in the liver uh, enzymes ALT and sorry I want to write it with another color the ALT and the um, ALP and the AST, all these liver enzymes are normal. ALT and AL, uh, sorry, ALT and AST, those enzyme, uh, those two enzymes are for um, hepatocellular, are indicator for hepatocellular injury while this one is an indicator of obstruction in the gallbladder uh, chol uh, cholestasis okay as we will see in the next steps okay let us now go to the second type of jaundice which is uh, which is hepatic